the engines of the mountain revenue were excited. They were helping to build a new line. It would take visitors to even more beautiful places on the island of Sodi. Sir Tuffham had arrived with important news. The grand opening is this afternoon. I want to see the new line from the air. Lady Hatt and I will arrive on Harold the helicopter. Just then, Scarloe chucked in. You're late for the announcement, complained Sir Topham Hatt. Really useful engines are never late. I'm sorry, sir. At the airfield, there was another problem. Engine trouble, said the pilot. Harold's not going anywhere today. Lady Hatt was most upset. But I've been looking forward to the grand opening all week. And I, my dear, will find a solution. And he did. Topham, you cannot be serious. Me, right in this? The wind direction is perfect. We'll be there in no time. Soon, the hot air balloon rolls into the sky. Scarlowe was upset. All this extra work is going to make me late again. The hot air balloon was floating peacefully through the sky. Lady Pat was enjoying this. The new line looks splendid, she said. Thank you, my dear. Down the track, the workmen were still loading their ladders. Hurry up! Hurry up! Scalloway puffed. If Scalloway doesn't hurry, sights her top of the hat, he'll be late again. All the engines were ready for the grand opening. Where's Scalloway? Rusty asked. He promised to be on time, said Peter Sam. Last, Scarlowe was on his way. Then there was trouble. The balloon's flames suddenly went out. The air in the balloon cooled, and the balloon started to fall. Hold tight, the pilot called. I want to get out, demanded Lady Hat. Not now, dear, said Sir Tom of Hat. The balloon's going to land in the tree, cried Scarlow. And it came down right in front of Scarlow. There's a top of my hat. My hat is ruined, cried Lady Hat. So is mine, said Sir Topham Hat. Don't worry, called Scarlowe's driver. We'll soon have you down. Am I glad to see you, Scarlowe? Thank you, sir. Before long, Sir Topham Hat and Lady Hat were safely on the ground. They boarded Scarlowe's boxcar and set off the Sir Topham Hatt declared the new line open. With special thanks to Scar Lowy, he said, for helping us get here. Everyone cheered. Even so, you were still late, teased Rusty. I know, said Scar Lowy, but because I was late, Sir Topham Hatt was right on time. <laughs>